Hello, my fellow fishing freaks. Welcome to some fishing mail time. I thought we'd switch it up a little bit today and just do mail from the fishing community here um, instead of just putting it at the end of a vlog or something like that. So it's been a few weeks since I've done it. Got some stuff right here. Let's get into it. So first of all, guys, thanks for commenting on the latest videos and helping out the community here. Uh, we talked about fall fishing baits. What's your favorite fall fishing baits? A lot of people ask me what mine was. I think it's a toss up between a, a spinner bait and a square bill. Although there's lots of other baits that are really awesome in fall. And of course, top water is really good in the fall. Whenever that water drops back down into the 70s, that's when it's on with top water. Um, Spook's probably my favorite top water to throw in the fall. Um, but you can't forget about that frog, man. Frogs just too much fun. This is the mail that you guys sent in. If you want to send stuff in, but whether it be letters, lures, anything you want, uh, you can send it to the address on this screen right now. So let's get into this. Uh, first thing is going to be from Mr. Matt Rogers, South Lake, Texas. Very close to where I'm from in the old town of Flower Mound, Texas. Oh, looks like we got some creativity going on here from old Matt. Looks like a really long letter here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but let's just kind of get the gist of it here. Uh, first of all, he's even got the colors down on his, uh, his lettering on Lake Fort Guy. Nice handwriting, by the way, Matt. Um, and he's got the LFG in red lettering. And he's even got this. Look, he traced that. Trace that, it looks awesome, it looks very on point. I'm even, I'm almost like kinda, I'm almost like I'm about to do a dab on that one. I'm kinda like leaning a little bit, like I'm about to do a dab, but it's nice. This is awesome, Matt, thank you. Let's uh, let's read this letter though, cause this looks really cool. I like the way you laid this out, amigo. Black and blue, green pumpkin jigs are my favorite color. All right, all right, I get it. I will get you some jigs, don't worry, and Let's see, it just says, hopefully you have as much luck as I did on it. Here's another one of my favorite lures, the Whopper Plopper. So Matt, you, I guess you saw my, my first fish on the Whopper Plopper, it was on this size. It looks like you've caught fish on this, man. So I will put it to good use, Matt. Thank you so much. Uh, that's really thoughtful of you. Awesome creativity. He's 15, he's in high school, he's He's learned a lot from the channel, and that's great, guys. I, I want everybody to learn as much as they can here on this channel. That's why I encourage you guys to comment. Um, I even learn some things from some uh, sometimes when you guys comment. So all that stuff helps out, really helps us learn how to catch more and bigger bass. That's what it's all about, right? Matt, I wish you all the luck in the world fishing uh, club tournaments. And you know, I was about your age when I started really getting into fishing and, and doing tournaments and all that. So um, that's just really awesome, man. You're growing up right across from the lake where I grew up. So uh, hope you catch some fish in Lake Grapevine for me, all right? Looks like we got a lot of product stuff going on here. This is a package from Lake Fort Trophy Lures, actually. Oh, they sent a pink hat. Actually, you know what? I know this is for Stephanie, is who this is for. So next time I get Stephanie on the water, she can wear she can wear this pink hat. LFT, always thinking about the family. For my homies over there. This is some new stuff that I haven't fished yet. This is the needle worm. All this is is just a long worm. I hear they've been catching them on this um, shaky head and drop shot. Uh, over at some of those East Texas lakes. Um, and their parent, this like pairs up perfectly with it. So this, what is this thing called? This is called a hissy fit. There's a two prong hook right here. You put this needle worm on it and it's like a snake swimming in the water. It's like a snake head. Literally just like, it's like a snake. I'm assuming uh, this thing, it just swims on top of the water and this tail really gives it a lot of action. I've actually done this before with with some other wake baits. I've taken the back treble off and replaced it with a, a screw lock and, and put trick worms on there. 
this is a better design for that. I'll have to show you guys that trick sometime. I'll probably do a video on this actually. Hit the like button and comment if you want to see a video on the hissy fit. Um, if you don't, I'm still gonna do it anyway, but. Uh, <laughs> Woo, my hands smell like garlic now. Let's continue here. Just a straight up letter. Letters are always good. I do try to read through all the comments in the first couple hours the video goes up. Um, but if you guys want to uh, send me letters, you know, if you got a more personal message, uh, this is a great way to do it. I've literally read every letter uh, that I've gotten. So, New Hampshire. Wow. I'm reaching people out in New Hampshire. All right. So, uh, well, howdy from, from Texas. He says he's been watching my videos for some time and... The MTB squad has made me think about joining the high school bass team. My problem is I only have two rods. You know, this is a this is probably a, a question that I get. Um, I'm not gonna say most often, but I get it a lot. You know, how do I fish on a budget, or how do I, you know, how can I uh, accomplish fishing multiple techniques on certain rods and reels. I don't want to have to go and buy like a whole boatload of stuff. I totally get that guys. Uh, I was once 15 years old. Um, I once had only one, two. Um, I thought it was great when I had three rods and reels and I was on a serious budget. You know, basically I worked uh, like summer jobs. I'd save up my money and then I'd buy fishing tackle. Um, I was probably... 15, 16 years old when I bought my first uh, Shimano Corrado Bantam B. And I thought that was like the bee's knees. It was amazing. Um, before that, I had uh, Shimano Cardiff. I fished, uh, you know, some cheaper Abu Garcias. Um, I'd go buy Bass Pro Shop Ryle, bought rods. I'd go to the discount bin. Um, you know, it's a great idea to see if you can buy used rods too. If you know anybody in your community. I don't know about New Hampshire, but you know, down here in Texas, we've got tons of fishermen everywhere. We have forums. Um, there's all sorts of uh, old timers that have tons of gear, just tackle and stuff they have laying around that's not, not getting put to use anymore. Some clubs, you know, if you can find any clubs around your area where uh, they have some older anglers that have tackle, that's a great resource for you. But to having two rods and reels isn't necessarily um, bad. I mean, if you're starting out tournament fishing, uh, I would say three rods and reels it can get you pretty pretty far. Having a medium action rod uh, for throwing topwaters and you know smaller spinner baits and maybe some uh, weightless soft plastics. Um, have you a medium heavy action rod? Um, you know, for throwing some lighter jigs, for throwing Texas rigs. Uh, basically anything that you're trying to really set the hook th to, through some plastic on. And then having like a, like a spinning rod to kind of throw some finesse stuff. Um, maybe have one with 15 pound test, one with like 10 pound test. Um, you know, med a medium action rod can double as like top water cranking, throwing treble hook stuff on. I mean, you can get away with doing a lot with three rods and reels, I think. It's like tools in a toolbox, of course. Having the right tool will help you do that job better. Can you um, take a, a wrench and nail in a nail? Yes, you can. You can do it. It's not a hammer, but you can still get the job done. And I've been through that whole process. Uh, so Brady, I understand. Um, but yeah, I would recommend trying to get in touch with some older cats and some bass clubs around your area. And I'm sure some people in your junior bass club have dads um, and hopefully they can get you pointed in the right direction on uh, getting some used tackle or something like that. So that's what I would recommend, my friend. Moving on with more awesomeness in the mail time. The fish mail. Very interesting here. Coming from Garland, Texas, not far from where I grew up. I hope this isn't peanut butter. Okay, wow, looks like we have a fishing reel in here. Looks like handwritten letters. It says, hey, Justin, sorry for my handwriting is so bad. 
Justine, it's actually Justine with an E. Um, but I'm going to send you my favorite bait caster reel. It was from my Dow's Dad, maybe? Okay, doesn't have a name on the letters here. Um, but he sent in a bait caster. This guy has seen some work. Um, looks like it's caught, hopefully, a lot of fish here. I can tell it's been fished heavily either with braid or around a lot of grass because there's a lot of green goo on the bottom. That's how you can usually tell. I guess we'll start a uh, start an LFG uh, fan wall or something, and we'll put this over there. My, Michael, Michael. Okay, we'll go. We'll go with Michael. Thank you for the LFG themed reel, the bait caster. I appreciate that. Um, this looks like another product thing here. Let's get into it. I, look at this right here. You know, when, like when you get a pizza and there's like grease on the box, it's kind of what this is. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be some plastics up in here that have, you know, that have the oil up in there. Alrighty then. So this is Nips Baits. They look like a little up and coming bait company here. Let's see, they got a, they got a letter that they've written. I am all for uh, feedback and testing. Um, you know, I don't get to use the products every time I go out because I usually, ha I, I always have some kind of purpose and thing I'm going out and filming for or with when I go. So I don't always get to fish things. Um, you know, this next time I go out, it usually takes me a long time to get to, to fishing lures. Um, if you send them in, but I'm all for it. I will give you my honest opinion. If I think it sucks, I will tell you. But if it's good and I catch fish on it, I'll tell you that too. And I'll let everybody know because it's all about catching fish and uh, helping everybody get more fish in the boat. Whew. They smell. I don't, I don't know if that has like scent on it or what. I think my camera has the, my tripod has the grease from these plastics on the bottom of it because it keeps falling down. What is going on here? Casey Neistat, help me. That looks like a very decent uh, shaky head worm right there. Very cool, thank you. All right guys, thank you for tuning in to the mail time and I appreciate everyone that sent in their letters and their, and their lures and everything, their reels and all that. If you wanna send things in to get opened on this channel you can absolutely do that you can send them to the address on the screen or you can view it in the description below if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you go ahead and do that don't miss a single beat here we're doing monday tuesday and thursday videos all about fish fishes and catching them so tell your friends about it uh, or don't if you don't want them to catch fish that's fine too make sure to leave a comment here and Tell me what you think I should do for a fishing challenge. I really haven't done a whole lot of fishing challenges. I'm starting to get some comments on you should do this and that. I've got something in my head, an idea I want to do, but I want to hear from you guys as well. So let me know. And for more video watching opportunities, you can stay tuned for the end of this video where I've got more stuff going on. You can click those little annotation links or see them in the description box below. So thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch y'all later. Clear picture of mm. their actual fuzzies in here. Multitude of species sure happening here today. Okay. Should I sign a release? No, this is just. I I think one. There's nothing on there that says Wait. not safe for human consumption, so you're good. Yeah. 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 Oh, dude, 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 dude. Actually eating dude. A chunk. Oh my god, dude. Three, three, four. Just see it's a prototype version right here. Should I basically just a sensor? No, go yeah, you can just go right into the top. Very so, hey, hey, I got. I, <laughs> I, I can pull out a big chunk. All right, right. he's going to pull out method. All right.